Chee -chee, it's your boy Fist in the house. Bring another great edition of Call of Duty. Straight for me to you, because that's what I do. And this is Call of Duty 4. I went back. I went back to playing some Call of Duty 4. And I've been playing this game a lot, and a new game. You're like, oh, Fist, where you been? It's been like three days. I haven't posted a video. If you want to check out what I'm playing new, go to my Fist 2 channel. It's a nice surprise. You'll be liking that. All my fighting fans I love fighting games. But anyways, I want to get out of this Call of Duty. And the reason I went, black, went back to play uh, Call of Duty 4 is that I wanted, I wanted to see something. And uh, this, is, this is what I figured out. This is important. I want you to realize uh, a lot of what's going on. Now, I know the net code might be different and the, the weapons and how the damage is. But the, the one important thing that I've noticed is that I believe that Stopping Power and Juggernaut are built into all the Call of Duty's past uh, Modern Warfare 2. Ha has to be. Because it's, it's, it's like playing... When you go back to play Call of Duty 4, you know, the, if you get hit by one or two bullets, you're dead. And that's because you're using Stopping Power or Juggernaut, you know what I mean? That's the damage, you know, you're using it. I want those, you know what, I want those perks back. You know, because then that way, everybody will use them, and that's just the way it'll be. You know, to me, at least when I was playing um, Call of Duty 4, and I'm, I'm sh I, when I'm shooting against snipers, I've noticed that when I was using the M16 on certain maps and I was going up against snipers, oh yeah, they still kill you in one shot, but I can kill them in one burst with stopping power. And most of the time, Sniper's not going to be using Jargonaut. You know what I mean? So it's a fair fight. Nobody really cared about the Snipers back then. But now it's like every character has, you know, they all have Jargonaut built into them. So it's like, I don't know what it is. I think this, there is this, I think there was this something about like, you know, maybe the, the a couple of people were complaining about, you know, I'm getting shot in the back. I can't turn around to like, yeah. You, you can't turn around to combat it because you're getting shot by AK-47 bullets, 7.6 whatever. You're gonna die, and that's just the way it is. And I think I think that should all come back. I think I think that all should come back because you know it's just fair. The way the game is now, you know, it just takes too many bullets. It's like I'm playing. You know, when I look at it, you know, if if you were to come like in a time machine. It's disgusting. But if you were to go back in time and let's say you grab somebody who played Call of Duty 4 and you went into the future and played Black Ops 2, you'd be like, I th you would think that you're playing Halo 2 with a, with a, a shield on. That's how many, and that's one of the reasons I never liked Halo 2. It just took too many bullets to kill somebody. You had to, you had to get their shield down, throw a grenade, and then, and then shoot them. And I think that's like, over time, this is what what has happened to the Call of Duties. I think we need to come back to like, let's just make that shit. You know what I mean? I mean, people like play Call of Duty Four probably think it's always on hardcore mode. No, it's because people are using the perks, and it's just straight up gun on gun battles. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. I mean, we've 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 gotten away from that in Call of Duty. I mean, there's so much pussyfoot and going around with these perks. That we totally got away from the gun battles. I mean, we're more based on like, let's how much see how hard we can hide with all little gadgets and build up our streaks. And the only thing that hasn't changed is the snipers. They're still one shot kills. Everything else has been nerfed. If you go back to Call of Duty 4, all the assault and SMG uh, weapons have been nerfed down to nothing. Comparative to the last Call of Duty. If you did if you did a graph on damage, you'd probably look you'd probably do a graph and you'd see like the sniper has went up and all the other weapons have went completely down. I mean it's it's not even a it's not even a gun battle, it's turned into a sniper game. Uh you know, and and camping for streaks. It's not even cool anymore. I mean I don't mind getting killed by grenades that are like within proximity. I mean, that's probably what happens in real life. You're gonna get get killed. Rocket splashing, you know, I don't care if you're wearing a flak jacket, you're gonna die. I don't mind those things. 
You know, you know why? Because in Call of Duty 4, they made you burn a perk for that. You want to use a grenade launcher? You're going to burn up the most expensive perk slot in the game. Whatever it is. You know, perk slot, I think it was perk slot number one. It wasn't the most important, but the second most important. But anyways, I mean, you guys tell me what you think. Go back and play Call of Duty 4 and look at the damage when you're fighting somebody. I mean, I went up against a sniper. I was like, oh, he missed, sidestepped, M16, you're dead. You know what I'm saying? At least you got a chance. Damage. Damage needs to come back in Call of Duty. Tell me what you think in the comments. Till next time, before this. Peace. Mom.